Hey guys, welcome back to the Sweetgrass Cafe, the only show that consists of PhD research notes and investigatory journalism. Just kidding. I'm your host, Braylon Acker. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the Sweetgrass Cafe's physical location, it's right outside New Orleans in Lycorn, Louisiana. The proximity of the restaurant to today's guest is a major coincidence because he's a New Orleans native. I'm talking about the award winning actor, producer, Mr. Kyle Hester. Since New Orleans is filled with graveyards and linked with voodoo, it is only fitting to have a guest come on the show to talk about the latest supernatural film. Preacher Six is an independent horror written by Hester's wife, Tracy Ray. Not only is he acting in the film, he is producing it as well. Hester plays the title role of Preacher Six, a conflicted man of the cloth forced into a precarious situation. The film is currently in production, and a crowdfunding campaign is set to kick off in the near future. Let's have a listen. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Braylon, and today I have a very special guest on the line. He's the extremely busy actor and producer, Mr. Kyle Hester. Hello, Kyle, and thank you for taking time to talk to us about your role in Preacher 6. No problem at all. First of all, thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Oh, well, thanks. We're we're glad to have you. So the catchphrase for Preacher 6 is, at least according to Twitter, offering salvation to the worst kind of people six bullets at a time. What does this movie say about taking matters into your own hands as opposed to waiting on God or the justice system? Well, that's, well, that's, that's a good question. I think, um, basically this is a, a film kind of about the, the, the battle between light and dark uh, in a grindhouse kind of action way. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Um, for those who aren't familiar with grindhouse, could you just illuminate us? Uh, Grindhouse is, is kind of like a, it's, it's a high action type film where there's like over the top, um, action events and like gunfire and, you know, like the, the violence is crazy and it's like, uh, it's an exciting kind of, uh, kind of film. So like, uh, see, let me give you an example, like, um, Escape from New York, you uh, know, okay. like that kind yeah. of thing. So Kurt Douglas, oh, excuse me, Kurt Russell. Duh. Right, right. <laughs> okay, so you're playing the title role of Preacher Six. He seems like a complicated man. So what can you tell us about the character? I can tell you that uh, he is. A, he comes from a small town. He's a small town preacher. Comes to the big city and uh, basically gets kind of uh, sucked into this battle that that is it actually turned out to be like a physical battle uh with with the dark side so um so that's it's he's he's like the reluctant hero if you will right right okay um so did you have to do anything physically or psychologically to prepare for this role and how difficult was the transition well i think that uh you know you t- to to battle darkness you got to be in good shape <laughs> so, so you know that kind of thing is uh, working out and running and 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 all that. And I'm actually going to be going to um, a gun range and and getting getting some gun training in. And I'm going to be getting into some Krav Maga classes. Oh, awesome! So uh, you know, for so the fighting it looks real and and uh, yeah. So so yes, there will so be preparation. You do your own stunts, is what you're saying? Yes, awesome. I will be doing my own stunts. Okay. Yeah, that's that's going to be a lot of fun. Great, great. So there's this huge movement going on right now in filmmaking, and your production company uh, right now is called the Our Production Company. Um, it's participating in the crowdfunding wave. Like this is huge. So why is it important to give the audience the opportunity to support independent film, and why does it work so well for horror? Well, I think first of all, these films wouldn't happen without without crowdfunding and without the passion of people that want to see original stuff. It's like, uh, I have a film that's coming out right now called the chair, which was Roddy Piper's last feature film. Mm -hmm. And, and that was something that would not have happened without, you know, without crowdfunding, without people like, uh, you know, pitching in their 10, 20 bucks, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever they had 
to, to make it happen. So it's like without, without having like, you know, rich uncles or knowing, you know, mm-hmm. bankers or something like that, it's like the money's right. got to, the money has to come from somewhere to make these things. And, and that's where, you know, all of the, all the crowdfunding sites, uh, it, it's really a place for, for new filmmakers to make something happen. Okay, for those of you who don't know, like the chair is based off of uh, a graphic novel by is it Peter Samedi. Is that how you say his last name? Yes, yeah, Peter Samedi. Yes, and and so like, there's actually a screening October 18th at 7 p.m. at Burbank. Can you tell the listeners how to get tickets? Uh, yeah, you know, actually, if you would go to um, if you go to the chair Twitter, uh, it, which is at the chair horror, then. Uh, there's like 30 theaters across the country that you can that you can go see this on, and it it will it's just like a Kickstarter thing. Like the those events will only happen if people reserve enough tickets to to see the uh, the show to make it happen. So um, so yeah, they're they're everywhere: L.A., you know, New York, Boston, Seattle, Atlanta. Uh, they're they're all over the country. So I would go to the the chair Twitter site, and that way you can get a listing of of where all they are all those showings are going to be and, and, and join in and, and come see like an original thing and, and, uh, and on the big screen. Awesome. And our final question is how can our listeners contribute to your crowdfunding campaign? Well, follow Preacher Six at Preacher Six on the Twitter page, and we will be uh, launching the Indiegogo on October 13th. And uh, just like, just, you can sign up for our news letter that kind of keeps everyone in the loop of what's going on. Uh, that's, I think a pin tweet that we have. And, uh, but yeah, so definitely you'll, you'll find out all about it and be able to track it on the preacher six Twitter site. And, uh, and it's going to take all of us to pull this off because, because we have a lot of, uh, a lot of semi, you know, kind of namey people in there that, that want to be a part of it. And, and, you know, everybody, you know, so this is what they do. So it's but everybody has to get paid. So so that's how that's how these things happen. So yeah, that's that's how you do it. Awesome. Well, thank you for spending time with us. And again, this was uh Mr. Kyle Hester. He's an actor and producer. Um and you can check out Preacher Six soon. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Movies such as Preacher Six, in my opinion, are considered art and ergo reflective of our society. Believe it or not, you have the power to help talented artists bring their vision into fruition. So what are you waiting for? Go to Twitter and follow at Preacher6. Before we part ways, we want to thank award-winning actor and producer, Mr. Kyle Hester, for taking time to chat with us. And as a reminder, if you're interested in seeing a screening of The Chair, follow the movie at The Chair Horror on Twitter. Until next time, thanks for listening. The Sweetgrass Cafe is a new podcast, so please give us a rating and review. We'd really appreciate it. The show was created by Lauren Rose and Erica Reynolds, and it was written and produced by Erica Reynolds. Music was provided by PurplePlanet.com, and the sound effects came from FreeSoundEffects.com.